This video is of a left maxillary sinus dilation using a balloon. The maxillary sinus is also known as the cheek sinus. This procedure was done in the office, not the operating room. It was done with local anesthesia and it took about 10 minutes to do both sides. I will be showing the left side dilation. The advantages of the office balloon procedures are no general anesthesia, they are very well tolerated in the office, there's no packing needed and there's very minimal bleeding after the procedure. There's also very little pain after the procedure. Most patients can return to work the next day. Usually only one visit is needed two weeks after surgery to check the sinuses. The biggest long-term difference is that we are not removing any tissue. We are leaving your sinuses as intact as possible as opposed to traditional sinus surgery which relies on tissue removal. To start the procedure, local anesthesia is applied with pieces of cotton, one of which I am removing here. This picture is on the left side. You can see the middle turbinate and the nasal septum. This is the uncinate process. The natural opening to the maxillary sinus is behind the uncinate process where this gray block is shown. This is the balloon itself and the tip of the device that guides the balloon into the sinuses. Here the tip of the device is being inserted into the maxillary sinus. The balloon is being advanced, then dilated, and then removed. This is the view after dilation. You can see the uncinate process has been moved towards the middle of the nose, opening up the drainage of the maxillary sinus, and the balloon has not caused any trauma to the nose or the sinuses.